บาขยมบาปุตตะสมอัตยัดกรุบจมเดียบสู้ตอนเราปุกมาบางปอนอุปุมิงบาบาขยมปุบุตรกสมเหาะจมเดียบสู้อุปุมิงปุกมาบางปอนต้องออกคณีฟองได้บานบาทั้งนี้ได้คือขยมบาปุตตะหนึ่งปุบุตรกบาลเฟิร์มนะมาตอนพุ่มหรือใส่โรยบาสก์สร้างสร้างขายกระดาษมาซาติท้ายบาดซาปุกยมเถื่อนเฟิร์มนะหมอกเตี้ยหลงใจสงโงยกถาบกาจูนกอดไอเดอร์ไลก์ก็เคยชีโปรดนั่นทีนี้กอดบานปรับปุกยมปุบุตรดังยมบ้านให้เคยทาเมียนดอกยายมุ้ยได้ประกาศเชิงให้เมียนเมียนไปจนจากจะเรียดให้บ้านให้กับเมียนชีเพียบสัตว์สาวอินจังนะองค์ผมเองบ้านให้ปุกยมกอดบานหมอกตอลดอลตีนี่มาเตี้ยบอกก่อนนี่ให้มนต์นั่งหมอกสะสูบอกก่อนสะสูตะการก่อนคือยมหมอกปรับองค์ผมเองคลักคลักนำไปเอาองค์ผมเองบ้านดังจีดมดังบ้านหลักๆให้มูลหนึ่งผู้ยมตะสู้กวาดนั่นคือยมส้มบางแห่งตะเดเพียบบาจมเป็นเตียกวาดตะกวาดเมียนจีเพียบแบบหน้าบาบาสกตกแบบหน้าบาบาให้ติดติดนี่คือขยมบาดตุ่ดานังผู้พุทธตะสู้นอมสกตกกวาดตะงอกนี่บาบาบาจังส้มกรุบเชยองภูมิปกมาวางปอตะงอกตะอยู่เมื่อขยมตะงอกนี่บาบาดำไปส่วนนอมมาหลุดยี่อันปีสกตุกนังชีเพียบรุ่นเดิมประจำทั้งไงไอ้น้ำมวยลูกโซธาลูกใหญ่ก่อเชี่ยจนปีกาเชิงบ้าปีกาเชิงพองได้บ้าจังอ่ะต่อสมเชิงของผู้มีบ้า Hi everyone, Putak and Puwat he went to the village Rusai district Saang and Kandal province. He keeps searching to find the poor people in the village. And he just traveled across the country, yes, to take the money that contributed by people live overseas. So he just post the video on YouTube, and then spread all over the country, and people can watch him speak in Cambodian. So I moved to my work channel so to translate all in English and speak some English too. And to let the world know about Cambodian live in Cambodia, how poor they are. So there's a lot of people over there, and because the problem is no job available around, like in the United States, you can see all kind of job be around, and people can afford everything. They want to buy it, even the clothes, foods, shelters. And transportation, and especially for the medical care or medical emergency or urgent care, they need for emergency for the health problem or health issue. But over at Cambodia, they don't have it. Like this old grandma, her name is Sum, and her last name is Lau. She is eighty-five years old. And she has six children, so three girl and three boy, but they all got married and they moved out of here. They didn't have anybody around here, but she lived by herself in this home. And this home, after the Pol Pot regime, uh, everybody knows about Khmer Rouge. So Khmer Rouge is the communist and. They took over our country about over three years, and after that, the Vietnamese took over our country. We're gonna be free, but it's still the communist, the same, but it's a lot better than Khmer Rouge. And after that regime, she occupied the land with her husband and raised six children. And Putak asked,、uh, "Where is your husband?" And then she brought up the whole story. Just one day,、um, she went to her uncle's house, watched TV with her husband, and after that, her husband just got up and walked away. And later on, she just keep waiting so many hours, and she didn't see her husband come back to watch TV with her again. So. She told everybody, and everybody in the family keep searching for him. But she asking, "Did you see your uncle?" Cambodian culture when we live in the village, we call grandma, we call mama, we call uncle. And she asked, "Did you see your uncle?" 
And they said, yeah, I saw him. He just grabbed a roll of rope and he walking away. And later on, they keep searching, but it no sign to finding him. And keep searching, searching. Finally, they found him. He is suicide. Uh, Putak asked her, so what is the problem with him? She said, it's no problem, it's just normal. Don't know why he suicide, hang himself. And she is 85 years old. Uh, before she getting old, she used to be a farmer. She do her own farming to raise a uh, sick kid. But later on, she get older and her kids her children growing up got married, they moving out. And right now her legs was broken because she just walked and then she fell and broken her leg. But cannot be repaired because she's so old. So uh, she went to the hospital, it got repaired too, like it's support by the metal. But she still get really sick. It's not uh, staying healthy because her old age condition and Another problem too, like a lot of problem with her health, she's not healthy. And Putak went there, she got some money to donate to her. People contribute this money. And her name is Chai Hien. And Putak took her money, $25, to give her and can help her a little bit. All right, guys, that's all about the stories in the village Rusei and district Saang in Kandal province and her name is Sum and her last name is Lao and she is 85 years old with sick head but right now she live alone by herself at least we can go to help her a little bit but it's not a whole lot but only can help her a little bit maybe can you no money go to hospital do whatever she need to do. I thank you for your watching and thank you for your support. And you will like you. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell. I post this video every 6 p.m. at Central Time. If you would like to help, please share this video. And thank you very much for watching. And you will like you again. And we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.